How long since you were in the 30s? Not, nothing personal, not your 30s. The 30s, the 1930s, remember? We'd like to get you back in the swing of those years. We'd like to give you a peek at how we dressed them. What was being worn. The very latest things. And remind you of the people we were reading about. Who was who and what was happening. The fascinating things the young people were doing. There was a lot to see for the 30s. A lot going on, a lot that was new. And among the wonderful wonders of the 30s, among the giant technical strides we were making then, this is one in particular we'd like to bring back for you. Not the way we do it now, but the way we did it then. The super streamlined way we had begun to fly from coast to coast, and the way we used to tell people about it back then, in a motion picture that has not been touched or altered since that time. and safe as birds in flight, the giant planes of American Airways are setting the new pace of man's progress. From the beginning of time, man has been the master of his own journey through life. He chooses the road by which he goes. He steps ahead or he steps aside. Here's the man who steps ahead, the kind of man who gets things done, who knows where he's going and how to get there, the American Airways way. For his convenience and yours, American Airways ticket offices are conveniently located. Here you'll find a friendly kind of service, service with a smile. Here you'll get accurate information promptly and cheerfully from a highly trained and efficient personnel. Our old colonel finds it handy to make his reservation at the hotel porter's desk. One passenger drops into Western Union to buy his ticket, while another gets his ticket from a postal office. Our lovely actress from her hotel room orders her ticket from the porter. Our genial minister patronizes the driver of an American Airways limousine. Newlyweds find the travel bureau's convenient. The businessman uses the telephone. Hello, American Airways. I want to make a reservation. Hold them for me. No sooner said than done. At the other end of your telephone, you'll find a trained staff of employees who will make you feel glad you're flying American. You will like the convenience of riding in these special American Airways limousines that take you straight to the airport. The airport is always a scene of bustling activity. Everywhere the impression of speed and accuracy of movement, motors humming, crowds looking skyward, cabs, limousines, red caps in courteous attendance. Here you'll find the kind of people who go places and do things. Interesting people like our Hollywood movie queen who travels as she lives among the stars. Oh, you'll never know the meaning of travel comfort and convenience and economy until you've taken a trip on one of these modern airliners. It's the new tempo of American life. It's the new way to go. Hmm, they run this place like a regular depot. It is a depot, Granddad, an air depot. Doesn't this give you a new point of view on airway operations? It takes more than planes and pilots to make an airways company. It takes an organization under responsible leadership backed by tremendous financial resources. As a matter of fact, it takes 10 men on the ground to keep one man in the air. Millions are invested on the ground in hangars, radio stations, airports, and depots like this. A well-organized deluxe travel service far in advance of anything you have ever known. American Airways serves the country from coast to coast, Canada to Mexico. Its fast government-approved planes connect 65 major cities, 
flying about 10,000 miles of improved airways. They come and go, these planes, summer and winter, day and night, dependable transportation. Whether you're Canada bound for historic Montreal lying between the St. Lawrence River and the scenic Mount Royal, or you're bound for Brownsville, Texas on the Rio Grande, air gateway to Mexico City, where old world color lures you to strange adventure. Perhaps when you reach Boston on an American Airways trip, you'll feel a patriotic tingle when you view the stately custom house. You can go from Boston to Los Angeles in little more than a day to the land of orange groves and early Spanish missions. On the way back, you'll want to step off at Phoenix, Arizona, famed winter resort on the threshold of many scenic wonders like Cactus National Park. Many travelers leave Chicago at noon and have dinner in Atlanta, Georgia, air gateway to all of Florida, where business hours are turned into pleasure hours. You'll want to linger at like the Picatin on the riverboats and humming Old Man River. It's only a few hours from Memphis to Fort Worth. Here is the center of a stock-raising and agricultural country with the black magic of oil fields adding to its wealth. From there to Dallas in less than half an hour, the leading industrial city of Texas, Dallas is the largest inland cotton market in the United States. Perhaps from Dallas, your business takes you to St. Louis, not many hours away, the principal city of the Mississippi Valley in which it lies. Another great American Airways city is Cleveland, chief port of entry of the Great Lakes, iron and steel center of the Middle West. Perhaps cherry blossoms will attract you to Washington, where the eyes of nations are now turning, wherever you're bound, over the nationwide network of American Airways, north, south, east, or west, you'll find an organization trained to render you an efficient, business-like service throughout your journey. That's why these people are going by air. The passengers boarding that Pacific Coast plane think nothing of traveling 2,000 miles. It's just a short journey. A new standard of air transportation is influencing the social and economic life of a population of 100 million. There's one thing about air travel, it's easy on you. You're as fresh when you arrive as when you start. You're always fit, ready for the day's work. Any seasoned air traveler will tell you that. Not on time, but ahead of time, ahead of the other fellow's time. Meanwhile, the ground crews are fueling and servicing the plane. Skilled mechanics maintaining the highest standard of American airway requirements that equipment be in perfect condition at all times. Fifteen minutes before the plane takes off, the pilot receives his instructions in the dispatch room. Here he gets the latest information on weather conditions furnished by the United States Department of Commerce Weather Bureau. In addition to this information, he receives a forecast of the weather conditions on the route he is to take from the company's own meteorologist. All American Airways schedules are carefully and definitely planned to meet the needs of travelers. Before passengers board a plane, the bags of mail are safely stored. One of these planes can carry 650 pounds of air mail. That's as much as 20,000 letters, a good-sized post office on wings. Practically all articles and merchandise can be shipped by General Air Express, everything from baby chicks to machine parts. Don't worry, old-timer. General Air Express has your packages. It's dependable. It's on the job 24 hours a day, giving American business the fastest nationwide express and delivery service. American Airways, American Airways, 1230 plane for Detroit, Buffalo, New York, and connections. Now loading at gate number two. Let's go. There are the co-pilot and stewardess, eager to welcome you. What? Is this an airplane? Why, it looks just like a living room. And that's just what it is. A cozy, inviting living room on wings. Here's progress for you. A journey which requires weary days of surface travel is to be made in a few swift hours in comfort. Just a modest little girl who hates a cameraman. There, another front page made. All American Airways planes are cheerfully and tastefully decorated. No expense has been spared to provide a luxury travel service that is today the standard of the world. Yet by air, you can travel more miles in less time for fewer dollars. 
Happy journey, Colonel. But not until the pilot verifies the instructions he received 15 minutes before. Number 172, on the ramp at Chicago, calling WSDG. WSDG to number 172. Correct time is 1228. No special instructions. Okay. Hold everything. Aha! News from home. Looks as though this may be another race between an airplane and a stork. We always knew these planes were big enough to handle passengers, mail, and express. But the old gentleman probably has the notion now that they could handle freight. You sink down into soft, roomy seats that are built for comfort. The stewardess will adjust them to suit you. All seats are first-class seats. All passengers, first-class passengers. Hmm, this fellow means business. On the second, we're getting ready to depart. Giant motors humming smoothly. The great bird is eager to take wing with her human cargo of 18 people, express and mail. Bon voyage, you lovely lady. Now we're on the magic carpet that lifts us up and away from everyday surroundings and opens up a new world of travel wonders. Heads up, it's the new travel habit and it's almost prophetic of America's new destiny. Heads up, flying from Chicago to New York. A pleasant journey ahead. Cruising the sky as smoothly as a bird, you scarcely realize you are traveling faster than man has ever traveled before. Your favorite magazines, newspapers, and other interesting reading matter are conveniently at your elbow. While some read, others will feast their eyes on this sky view of Chicago, with its towering peaks of steel rising on what was once Fort Dearborn. One of the grandest voyages imaginable is this trip from Chicago to New York by the Valley Route. You'll find so many features of comfort and convenience not obtainable in other means of transportation. The adjustable seats are so good for resting and reading. There's no danger of hurting your eyes, either reading or writing. It's so light, and your flight so smooth over the velvet road of nature. The written page isn't jumping up and down before your eyes. Ample dome lights in the plane, individual reading lights at every seat. Individual ventilators you may adjust to your own preference. Individual ashtrays as you blow smoke rings and thrill to the beauty of the vanishing vistas below. The stewardess is not only a registered nurse, but a trained and competent guide, thoroughly familiar with the geography of the trip. Not many minutes out of Chicago, She'll call your attention to the giant steel mills at Gary. Wonder who's having more fun? You can have two guesses. You'll find cool drinking water constantly on tap. Your eyes cannot resist the ever-changing landscape. Farms stretching below like velvet carpets. In the rear also, you will find a completely equipped washroom. Nothing has been forgotten to make your trip comfortable. Every known scientific improvement is employed to guard each moment of your flight. The pilots, whose average flying experience is over 4,000 hours, keep up continuous communication with the ground station personnel. Every few minutes, they make a position report to the nearest ground station of the American Airways, so that at all times, day and night, Radio operators are in communication with planes in flight, wherever they are, learning their positions and giving them up-to-the-minute information on weather conditions along their route. Distance is no longer the master of man. All along the route are located a great number of intermediate landing fields. Our friends can't get over the way their fellow passenger sleeps, but they'll learn before this trip is over that travel by air is a blessing for poor sleepers and a joy for good sleepers. Noise has been reduced by a new insulation process, and the smooth, quiet flight adds zest to a little nap. Here's the flying kitchen we've been hearing about. 
with a charming stewardess to make your lunch the more delightful. Twin motors, 1,450 horsepower. Either motor is powerful enough to carry the plane fully loaded. Oh, wish he'd let us in on the secret. Bet it's a boy. The landscape below is a scene of never-ending change. You just can't travel over American airways without meeting interesting and important people. But could there be anything in life more important than two lovers on a honeymoon to each other, hearts aflutter and heads above the clouds? A tasty lunch on a personal tray. Is it any wonder American Airways planes have become famous for delicious food? This is Travel Deluxe. Our genial fat friend with the grin that won't wear off is determined to share his happiness with his fellow passengers. Cigars and babies must have been invented at the same time. Long hours of surface travel cut down into an incredibly few minutes. Detroit, cradle of the automobile which put America on wheels. Civilization began when man invented wheels to bridge distance and make all the world neighbors. But only when man learned to fly did he find liberation from the shackles of time and space. Number 172, calling Detroit, 15 miles southwest of the airport. What are your surface winds? Detroit. It wasn't many years ago the Indians under Pontiac besieged this little village. Detroit is an important terminal in the American Airways system. This extensive municipal airport was established in 1927. A 12-minute stop. New passengers to take the seats of those who got off. A quick transfer of mail and express while the plane is refueled and... we're off to continue our journey east. Businessmen fly because it cuts their travel time more than half. The time they save getting there, they use being there. They can't afford not to travel by air. Out of Detroit, now over Canada, the natural flying route between Chicago and New York. Welland Canal. Its locks are arranged for vessels 800 feet in length. This drawing illustrates the radio impulses which help the pilot keep his course. This radio range beacon guides the pilot as accurately as steel rails define the course for crack trains. Buffalo, but an hour and a half from Detroit. Niagara, thunder of waters. Oh, the majestic bridal veil of nature. 15 million cubic feet of water every minute, falling in a cataract of splendor. You'll see it on the American Airways route, the scenic way to fly. Buffalo Airport. This is one of the principal crossroads of the Chicago-New York line, as well as the Boston-Cleveland line an important passenger mail and express transfer point. Here we meet two sections of a westbound New York-Chicago schedule. The other two planes you see are leaving for Boston and Cleveland. As you look out of the plane, each passing mile reveals new scenes. Nature painting canvases of rare beauty on the earth below, a checkerboard pattern of miniature homes. At the foot of the Blue Ridge Mountains, the natural trade route of earlier America, you near historic Delaware Water Gap. In the pioneer days, an Indian trail wound along the base of the mountain. Enjoyable, educational, scenic. That's why more people each year make flying a habit.
And that is one of the reasons for the tremendous increase in the traffic of American Airways, a romance of modern business. At night, the Skyway is lighted by Department of Commerce beacons every 10 or 15 miles. Compare this lighthouse beacon of only 360,000 candle power, visibility 17 to 25 miles, with this Airways beacon of 2 million candle power, visibility 50 to 100 miles. Truly, the Skyway is the bright way. It's twilight in the heavens. The journey's end is near. New York, the teeming city of millions, the melting pot of the nation. A warm glow in the plane lights it up like a ferry ship in the night. If it's a bit cool, the stewardess will turn the heat on. If it's too warm, she'll open up the ventilators to let in the cool, fresh air that's clean above the dirt and soot and smoke of the earth below. Come on, old timer, you've had your share. There's a difference in travel time from Chicago to New York, if you go by plane. If your time has value, you increase your worth several fold whenever you travel by air. Newark, Eastern Terminal of the Chicago-New York trip. Think of it, you can have lunch in Chicago and dinner in New York on the same day. It's not a boy. It's twins. <laughs> now you can spend the evening in New York for recreation, Broadway's bright lights, your favorite eating place, the theater. And then to bed in a first class hotel. A good night's sleep that will prepare you for the busy day ahead. Another traveler delivered to his appointed destination. Adding to the mounting totals of American Airways achievement, over 330,000 passengers carried safely in seven years, over 50 million air miles, nearly 2,000 times around the world. Fly American.